What's up coffee explorers? So in this video, I'm heading over to Turtle Lake in Saigon because I hear there's an abundance of street food that you can get for less than a dollar. Stick around and check it out. This dish called bop seo starts out with a cup of corn thrown into a hot pan with some canola oil. And then some margarine. This is all stir fried together for a little while. Then they add some sugar to the mixture. And then they add a spoonful of some dried shrimp. They continue to stir fry the mixture and add a little bit more margarine to it. Then they add some spring onions and mix that in. Then they dish it up in the container to go. Add a bit of chili sauce, give you a spoon, a little tiny plastic spoon, and then they send you on your way. Alright, so the first thing that I got here is uh, called Bapseo. It is a mixture of stir-fried corn, dried shrimp, sugar, oil, uh, a little bit of spring onion, and some chili sauce, some margarine, and it's all mixed together right there on the street as we just showed you. Mm. 
You know, I've been a little apprehensive about this dish because you see people driving around on motorbikes, cooking it right there on the street. You just flag them down and you get it. And, and I just, I didn't really know what it was. I had to do a little bit of research and finally I found out what this was. And I'm so glad that I took the time to figure it out because this is some good stuff. Sweet and salty just the right amount of onion to it that dried shrimp it just gives you that that just amazing savory flavor mm. the corn's just cooked to perfection it was only 20,000 dong that's just that's less than a dollar unbelievable this is definitely something that you could probably eat over and over and over and over and you'll never get tired of it it's it's that good all right let's go see what else we can find here This dish is called Ban Trang Tron. First you take a big bag full of chopped up rice paper and then you add a little bit of citrus juice. Some Vietnamese coriander, some shredded papaya, some hard boiled quail eggs, some beef jerky, some sweet beef lung jerky, uh, some sh dried shrimpies, some peanuts, some chili, sour sauce and then they mix it all together so another dish that I just got it was another 25,000 dong which is just it's like just a dollar exactly, almost. It is called Ban Trang Trong. Rice paper with some citrus and some chili and coriander and some beef jerky and some sweet beef lung jerky. Yeah, seems kind of crazy, but let's give it a go. Oh, I forgot to say that there was some chilies in there too. Oh, and some papaya. <laughs> This is a really interesting kind of food. It's, uh, it's got some sweet, some spicy, super, super chewy. You wouldn't kind of expect that from the rice paper, just being dry like that. But then when they mix it up with all the chili and the oil and everything like that, this is some really good stuff. Sweet and spicy, chewy. Salty kind of hits every kind of hits everything that you need to, out of a dish of food. It's definitely one of those things that I can see where it hits a lot of cravings, and I understand why it's such a popular snack here in Vietnam. So the next one that I'm gonna get is gonna be some Chinese meatballs, I think. But there's one dish here that I'm gonna check out. I've never had it before, and it's really. I'm going to be being really adventurous and uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit weirded out by it to be honest, but I'll show you that when we get there.
so we got some Chinese meatballs here. Uh, they seem to come with a little bit of uh, some uh, cut up mango and some chili sauce and some mayonnaise. Uh, but let's try it without all of that first. See how that goes. Mm. Yeah, that is good. That is really good. Uh, the pork here is just seasoned perfectly and, and it's got that just perfect snap of a sausage that you just most sausage lovers just dream about. Let's try some of it with the with the chili and the mango here. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is good. Each meatball here is about a quarter a piece. I ended up paying 40,000 dong for uh, for eight of them. And well, oh, I'm so glad that I did. These are these are fantastic. We're gonna finish these up, and then we'll we'll go over and we'll grab that that final dish that I'm looking at. I really uh, I'm I'm a little bit worried about this one. Kind of scared of it. <laughs> Not gonna lie. This dish is called Hot Vitlon. It is fertilized quail eggs with morning glory and tamarind sauce. So this is fun. He starts out by throwing some tamarind sauce in the pan and then he starts adding the fertilized quail eggs. He then begins to stir fry the eggs and the sauce together. Add some chili, some dried shrimp, and some margarine. Then he adds a handful of morning glory, which he continues to stir fry in with the eggs and the tamarind sauce. Then he dishes it up into the to-go container. Then adds some peanuts and some fried French onions.
then tops it off with some freshly cut coriander. I don't know, you think I'm gonna be able to handle this? Okay, I'll go. So we'll go we'll go right for one of these here. No. No, can't do this. This is this is not good. Yeah, the texture of that balut, I, I just can't handle it. It's weird. It's like I'm biting into a, a chicken gummy bear. It's, it's not okay. <laughs> uh, do you like this stuff? Uh, I like this stuff, uh, but um, it's uh, quite expensive for me. Yeah. <laughs> do you want? No, no, I have already uh, eaten uh, something oh, okay. else. All right, because I don't think I'm going to finish eating this because I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it? No, I don't like it. Oh, why? Uh, t uh, weird, weird uh, texture. Uh, I know, I know. You When you eat it, you feel like you are killing a uh, uh, um, young bird. No, no, no. I just don't like the texture, the, the flavor. Uh, really? I, um, I like it very much. Yeah? I guess it's just not good for everybody, right? Not good? Not good for me. That's been the video. I'm going to go ahead and check on out of here. It's been a pleasure showing you this, this stuff. So, uh, as always, eat great food. Sip exquisitely. <laughs> just see you guys later. If you found any value or entertainment in this video, I would definitely, definitely appreciate it if you were to give the video a like and maybe even subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends. It would definitely help me with the algorithm. That would be awesome. Thanks.